All right, so today we are going to figure out how to figure a max stress in a structure that has fillets. So if we have a plate of steel here and we're going to pull a force P on the end of it and the, the width of the steel reduces a certain amount and on each side we have fillets. So what is the maximum stress that we're going to see in these fillet areas? So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the ratio of this width and the reduced width. So that is big D over little d. And this is big D. The wider part and little d is the smaller part. So if we do that, we get 120 over 60, and that equals 2. Now, the reason we need this is because we are going to have to find a constant k. Some people already made graphs and did all the calculations to where all you have to do is find your information on a chart to find your value k to input into your equation. And that equation is stress max is equal to k times p over a. So this is a stress concentration factor. And k is also equal to max stress divided by average stress. All right, so this problem is asking us, knowing that P, this force that we're putting here, is equal to 38. So let's write that. P is equal to 38 kilonewtons, or 38 times 10 to the 3 newtons. So we need to find the max stress at r equals 10 millimeters, r equals 16 millimeters, and r equals 18 millimeters. So we know P. Uh, we can calculate A. Let's go ahead and do that. So A is equal to width times thickness. We have 60 millimeters across, and our thickness is 15 millimeters. So 60 times 50, and that's going to equal 900 millimeters squared. But we want that in meters, so that will be 900 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. So to find K, we use this value here. So we know that the ratio is two and we actually go to our chart and what we need to find is, so the first one, so A, we need the ratio of our fillet radius over little d which is this top width, so 60. So that is 10 over 60, and that equals 0 0.1667. Now if we go to the chart that I was talking about that has the K values already figured, across the bottom row, you're going to look for this value. And once you find that value, then you go up to the line that represents your ratio of 2. And when you get there, the, the value on the left side of the chart will give you your K value. So this K value is equal to 2.06. 
And now that we have K, we can go ahead and figure out our max stress at 10 millimeters is equal to 2.06 times P, which we have here, 38 times 10 to the third newtons. And all that is over our area of 900 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. And that gives us a total of 87.0 times 10 to the 6 pascals, or 87 mega pascals. All right, and the same thing goes for part B. So 16. We need our radius of our fillet over our little d. Yeah, but now we're, instead of 10, they want to know 16. So we got 16 over 60. And that is equal to 0 0.2667. Seven. And if we go to our K value chart again, look for that number on the bottom axis, go up to our line that is labeled for 2, and we're going to find K is equal to 1.78. And again, putting all this into our equation here, you know, 1.78 times 38 times 10 to the third newtons over 900 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. And that's going to give us a value of 75.2 times 10 to the 6 pascals or 75.2. 0.2 megapascals. And real quick for the third one, C, we have R over D, which for now we're at 18 millimeter fillet over 60. And that is going to be 0 0.30. Find that on our chart, we get a K value of 1.75 put all that into our equation and that is 1.75 times 38 times 10 to the third newtons all over 900 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared and that gives us a total of 73.9 times 10 to the 6 pascals or 73.9 megapascals. So there you have it. That's how you find the max stress in a plate that has a force P on it, that has a radius and reduced dimensions. <laughs>